Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be here with a knitting podcast episode for you today. So as you can see, no, no knits today, it's too hot, so just wearing a shirt, but hopefully the weather will cool down soon. My autumn, my autumn loving heart is hoping for cool weather and then I can have more knits to show you that I've worked on in the past. And then the other thing, my hair is pink. It was not previously. Um, I went to the Taylor Swift Airs tour last month in Seattle and I dyed my hair pink just for fun for that. It is temporary and seems to be lasting a bit longer than expected, but that's okay because it's fun for summer. But yeah, anyway, let's get into it. I'm gonna go over what I recently finished and then what I'm currently working on and some yarn purchases. I know last time I said I'm on a yarn ban, except for the few projects I have coming up, but I may have bought some other yarn that I wasn't planning on, so I'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, the first thing I finished I actually don't have here to show you. It was the pair of socks. Here we go. The pair of socks I was working on last month for my mom. I went ahead and mailed those to her, but I do have some yarn left over. It's the Zauer Ball Crazy Sock Yarn, I think is the name. So super fun, self-striping, crazy, colorful yarn. And yeah, I finished those. Um, I asked her how they fit and she said they fit her foot perfectly and I was so relieved because that's the first time I've knit socks for someone where they couldn't try them on while I was working on them. So super happy that they turned out and that she likes them and that they fit well. And yeah, I want to make some like scrappy stripe socks. So we'll see. I'm going to save this, see what it becomes later. Um, the next thing that I finished, I also do not have to show you because I already frogged it. So I was working on the mood beanie and I can't remember who the pattern's by, so I'll link that below, but I was working on the mood beanie for a couple weeks and it was so fun. The color work was super fun. Um, and then I finished it and I went to try it on and it was too tight. So I was like, okay, I'll try blocking it and we'll see like if that helps so soaked it and then when I went to block it I stretched it as much as I could and then when I tried it on it was giving swim cap it was so tight and granted I do have a pretty big head so I was like okay it's either my head's too big and this is or this is way too small but I measured my head and she has different sizes in the pattern and I picked the one that it should fit and it didn't so I immediately frogged it instead of I didn't even pause to think if anyone I knew that has a smaller head would want it, but I was just so bummed. I'm making it with um, some leftover, so I can show you the yarn I'm using. This green, I did like a green and like off-white color together. Um, super cute. I'm bummed it didn't work out. I am going to knit it again, but I think I'll do the next size up and then maybe change needle sizes. I'm really unsure why it didn't work out but yeah so that's a project for another day to actually finish <laughs> and my whole plan was that with this um color work project and then i made those strawberry socks in the previous month is to practice color work before i knit a sweater because i don't want to take the time to knit an entire color work sweater and then it not fit or spend all the money on the yarn for it and then not like how it turns out so I want to practice a little bit more um, I might make another pair of color work socks well I definitely will I'm gonna make those um, Halloween ones so maybe I'll do that and then try this beanie again see what happens I want to practice because I want to make the I actually don't know the name of the pattern but Brooke Willow on Instagram and YouTube she knit a really beautiful color work sweater last year and I'm obsessed with it and haven't stopped thinking about it since I found it earlier this year but I don't know I didn't know how to do color work when I found it and I thought oh well I'm never gonna make that but now that I'm slowly learning how I want to um, make that eventually so I'm practicing with small projects 
hopefully we'll get good enough at it and then I can try to make that sweater that she made because it's so beautiful. But yeah, so two things that I didn't have to show you. I do have one finished object that I can show you, which I started and finished within the month. Um, it is the Victoria scarf by Orsa Makes on Instagram. So it's a beautiful cabled scarf and this along with one of my other whips is same idea smaller projects with cables so then i can get good at it and then i'll make a sweater but yeah this is my first cabled project and it's so pretty i knit it with um cardiff cashmere and i went on my honeymoon back in may i went to paris and london and the english countryside and i went to yarn stores in all of those places of course and they had Cardiff cashmere which i had never seen in person before so i was super excited because i knew i wanted to make this with it and originally i was trying to find a brown color and um they it needs it requires two balls of the Cardiff cashmere and they only had one in every color except white so i just got two white so i can make it but i did also purchase on my honeymoon um this knitting for olive merino in brown so i might make another scarf yeah i'll probably make another scarf with the brown i've seen so many cute photos on instagram of this people wearing it as a scarf in their hair so once it cools down a bit it'll be really nice to wear and i just love how it turned out but yeah definitely thinking i'll make another one with this brown the next thing I am working on is a cabled hat. So this goes along with the other cable project for me to practice my cables before I make a cabled sweater because I really want to make the sweater number 15 by my favorite things. My favorite things? Yeah, my favorite things knitwear. I'm sure you all have seen it. It's very popular. Um, so yeah, I'm making a cabled beanie to practice and this is the August hat by Sari Nordland and it's knitting up super easily um, she has written instructions in the pattern that go along with the chart which makes it so much easier since I've never um, knit cables before it's been great for me learning how and this I am knitting up in let's see the blue sky fibers wool stock worsted in the color Lilac Bloom. This is the first time I'm using this yarn and the reason I picked it is for the color specifically. Um, I follow APT Atelier on Instagram and YouTube. She makes knitting podcasts as well. And she made this uh, hat last year with yarn that she dyed herself. And it was kind of this color. I was trying to match it as best as I could because I was obsessed when she showed hers and that she hand dyed it herself. I was like, what the heck okay i want that color but i'm never gonna be able to get it so i went on my favorite um yarn website one of them to buy yarn it's called wool and company i think they're out of illinois in the united states and they have so many yarn brands that i like and just so many options so i was able to just filter through all the colors and then find one that looked really close to hers but yeah Loving how this is knitting up. I'll probably finish it pretty soon. Not that I could wear it anytime soon, but it's really fun. And when I saw this last year when she knit it, I thought I'm never gonna be able to do that because it looks so complicated. Well, cables in general, I always thought, I don't know how people do that. I'm never going to be that person. But with the written instructions and then just taking my time, cables aren't as hard as I thought they would be. So super pleased with how this is coming along yeah I'll keep working on that okay the next thing I have you have already seen that I'm still working on it's the thin sweater by wool and beyond so last time I had not split for sleeves yet um, and now I have and I'm just making my way pretty slowly working on the body it's taking a while because this is knit on three millimeter needles so this is like my perfect mindless knitting right now i'm getting close i think i have a few more inches left for the body and then i'll do the sleeves and the neckline 
actually scratch that i'll do the neckline first then the sleeves i don't know why but it feels like the sweater finishes faster when i do the neckline first and then all i have is the sleeves and i think it's because then i can try it on maybe that's why i try it on more and see what it actually looks like but let me know if you do sleeves first or the neckline or the other way around neckline and then sleeves because yeah definitely think that'll be the plan i'll do hopefully finish this within the next week or so the body at least and then i can pick up for the neckline because i have the itch to cast on another sweater but i'm trying to finish this one beforehand so we'll see oh and again i'm knitting this in drops flora the color dark gray so just a dark gray color okay so the last thing i am working on is a pair of socks this is the comfort sock by ozetta her pattern and it's just a ribbed sock um i did change it a little bit so she has the ribbing only go till you do the heel turn and then the rest of it is just plain stockinette but i decided to continue the ribbing on the top and then like underneath the bottom of the foot it'll just be plain stockinette and these are knitting up really fast. I was having the itch to like finish something and get moving on something because that sweater's taking me so long. So I cast these on a couple days ago and I'm almost done with this one. So does that ever happen to you too where like something's taking so long and it feels like you're not making progress even though you are. And then I'll just do a little mini project in the middle. But yeah, super enjoying that. Really easy to follow. I'm knitting it in the cutest yarn. Oh my gosh. I got this on my honeymoon as well from the Cotswolds. So it says Cloudy's Flock on it. And it is shorn and spun with care from a small flock of Jacob sheep living in the, the Cotswold Hills. So cute. So I found this at a yarn store in the Cotswolds and the woman working there told me it was one of the local farmers sheep and they make yarn with it and so of course i was like i have to get it i bought a few of these and i'm making those socks i'll probably make a couple more pairs i got a white the so this is natural gray of the sheep and i got some natural white white sheep so love it it reminds me the feeling of it um i can show you this one it's open the feeling reminds me of let lopi it's just a little softer than let lopi but very similar the comfort socks and then also the camp socks by Ozetta, she recommends um, Let Lopi for those. So I've made a pair of the camp socks with Let Lopi and this feels really similar. It's just a little softer. But yeah, super enjoying knitting these. So fun. And I'm happy to have like another little souvenir from my honeymoon, these socks. So yeah. The next thing I have to show you are two swatches for patterns um, once I finish the gray sweater the thin sweater by Wool and Beyond I want to either cast on a sweater or this um, vest pattern so I need help picking because I can't decide but yeah let me show you the swatches and then we can talk about them a little bit here is the first swatch that I want to show you so this is for the Vilma top by Gregoria Fibers and it's a really pretty like little button down tank top well not tank top it kind of looks like a vest and so i'm trying to decide if i want to knit this next or this little swatch is for the yoon yoon i think that's how you say it sweater from november knits so i'm trying to decide between the two they're both on larger needles than three millimeter because I need a break from those small ones. I want to knit something a little bit quicker. The yarn I'll be using for each of these would be for the Vilma top. It's um, one of these. The Lion brand Fisherman's Wool comes in this big thing. And I've had this in my stash for a while and I want to use it up. So thinking that top would be really, really pretty. So we'll see. Either this or the... Yoon sweater would be knit up in some hobby yarn, super kid silk, and the alpaca silk held double for that one. And so I'm trying to decide what I should make next. I'm kind of leaning more towards 
the Vilma top, but let me know what you think. Because once I cast off a few of those other whips, I want to start one of these. So I started, I'm being a good knitter, making my swatches, and now I will decide which ones to make. So let me know what you think because I really can't decide. Or maybe if I finish the socks and the hat and then that gray sweater, I'll start both of these at the same time. I don't know, we'll see. So let me know what you think. Really excited about both of those patterns though. I'm kind of leaning towards this one because it's more like summery, even though it's knit in wool, at least doesn't have sleeves. But, oh, yeah. But then I also just love to knit a sweater. So let me know. Okay, so last thing is the yarn that I purchased. First, I'll show you the colors I chose for the Halloween socks that I am going to make from the Charming Color Work book. So, I got first Hedgehog Fibers Twist Sock in the color Graphite. So it's just like a dark gray. I didn't wanna go black black, so I just went with a really dark gray. I feel like it'll be a better contrast than flat black and it's easier to knit with dark gray than with black. So that's the first color. Then I got this beautiful orange and it's the Malabrigo Sock Yarn in the color Terracotta. So these two. And I decided to do one more and it's also Malabrigo. Yeah, Malabrigo Sock Yarn in the color Lettuce. So I feel like these are very Halloween-y and I can't decide which one I'm gonna do first, either the orange or the green, but either way, I love both of these so much. So it'll either be these two together for those little bat socks or these two together for the bat socks. Kind of leaning towards the green and then maybe I'll make something else with the orange, we'll see. But yeah, that's for that project and this is the yarn I knew that I was going to buy. And then it was like, the floodgates opened after I let myself buy this yarn. I got some other stuff. So I've been seeing Biche et Bouche on Instagram and I've been so curious about their yarn. I love the packaging and a lot of the colors they offer. So I decided to order some of their sock yarn to see how I like it before I commit to buying a whole sweaters quantity. I got these three. These two are kind of giving Christmas. So I was thinking with this red and white, I could do contrast toe heel cuff with red and it'd be cute like Christmassy candy cane vibe sock. So that's what I'm thinking with this. And then this green and red, it has a little bit of like purple in it a little. Yeah, that this could be either really beautiful like fall sock color or it could go more Christmas. So just wait and see how it starts to look when I knit them up. But yeah, I really like these. And then the last color, it's giving 1989 Taylor's version. Now that she announced that, I'm like, yes, I do need blue, light blue, white socks. Such a fun color. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think I should cast on next out of these two and let me know what you're working on or what like fall knitting plans you have because now that August is about halfway over all I can think about is fall knitting I mean that's all I've been thinking about all summer anyway but it's getting closer and that's the best time to knit so yeah I hope you're having a great day and thank you so much for watching